it's time for my official review of A Nightmare on Elm Street. The Nightmare on Elm Street remake, directed by Samuel Bayer, his first movie, um, also starring Jackie Earl Haley as Freddy Krueger. And where, of course, you know, man, Freddy Krueger stalks teenagers' dreams, and if you die in your dream, you die in real life. Everybody knows the story. Well, in this remake, what it was is they went back and they kind of remade the first film, is what they did. But they, you know, they tweaked it a little bit and updated it more and everything. And the movie was actually, I thought, was pretty fucking awesome. And one of the best Freddy movies since 1 and 3. Now, it is, of course, not without its flaws. There is certain things that did bug me about the movie, and then there were some things that didn't. So, I'm going to get right into that. First off, the casting for the movie. Jackie Earl Ailey did an awesome, I thought, film Robert England's shoes was fucking awesome. He did a great job on it, and he brought back a dark tone for the character. The m People were complaining about how his makeup looked in this movie. You know what, if you go, and actually, I've seen a guy who was actually really burned real bad. You know, he I've seen it on a show called The First 48. And if you look it up, he, he looks just like, Freddy Krueger and everything, and they did the burn, I think they did the burn victim thing very well. A lot of people were also complaining about Jackie Hurl's Ailey sweater, you know, for the Freddy Krueger role. How it does, it's not the same sweater. Yeah, it ain't the same sweater, as long as it's fucking red and green stripes, it does not matter the fuck to me. I mean, it could have been worse, they could have met like orange and black, green and black, you know, some bullshit, you know, for his sweater, and they didn't. They actually kept it normal and everything just because it ain't got fucking red sleeves like it did in the first one. Because they changed the sweater over many movies any damn way. And of course the people were complaining about the glove, how it was like a mixture of the first one and New Nightmare. I don't give a fuck, it looks just like the damn glove he's supposed to have, so it, it, that don't matter to me either. That are all small, tiny details that can be overlooked. As for the teens in the movie, the teen casting for it, of course, you know, are all in their 20s, really. You know, they don't really look the part of actually teenagers, except for the one who played Quentin. Now, they changed all the names for the characters except for Nancy's. The girl who played Nancy in this movie, I didn't think her portrayal of the character was actually very good. Um, I was disappointed with Nancy in this movie, unlike, you know, because Heather Langkamp did a great job in the original and this one did seem, she kind of seemed a little down on it. So I wasn't impressed with hers. Actually, everybody else's I was actually, in, you know, impressed with. I liked the guy who played Quentin. He was also in Jennifer's Body. He also, of course, plays in, he's played in Smallville as The Flash and stuff. Did a good job. I liked his, you know, him. Uh, Thomas Decker, you know, he was he played Jesse in this movie and he did actually a good job too and everything. Katie Cassidy, who plays Chris in the movie, they really focused on her at the very beginning, kinda like what they did with the original with the girl Tina. You know, how she was the focus at the beginning, of course, up till she got killed, just like they did in this movie. And I thought it was actually, you know, I couldn't understand why they didn't actually even keep the same names as these characters, Glenn, Tina, you know, Rod. You know, I would have probably thought what they had kept those, but as long as they kept Nancy, I guess you can't complain too much. Now, getting into some of the CGI for this film. The CGI for the film, some was good, some was bad. Some, The bad one was like when they tried to do the iconic role of the, you know, the tribute to the first one, where he's above her in the bed and everything. That, that, that looked cheap and it sucked. But yet when... Another part where she's running down the hallway and she, this, the floor turns into blood and she falls in and everything. That was good. I liked that one. But, you know, the movie overall had a very dark tone. And just, like I said, it was one of the best, to me, one of the best ones since the original and, the th you know, three. And I'm even a fan of four, Freddy vs. Jason. And I noticed they did keep a lot, you know, being a fan of it, you know, you pick up on little things here and there, you know, different sayings and stuff like that that you've watched previously in the previous movies. And I thought that was actually pretty good. I do like the fact that they made it where, you know, they use insomnia in it and, you know, if you fall asleep, you know, if you stay awake for 72 hours, 
you start experiencing micro naps so basically you're dreaming and you don't know until something happens to you and everything and it just makes it more real and more you know it's like he's Freddy's in real life is what it made it look made it sound like the ending to the movie was also I thought better than the original they kept it almost like the original but they tweaked it a little bit but overall I am very satisfied with the movie uh, of course like I said I'm a Freddy fan I was gonna like it probably regardless but I'm definitely hoping for a sequel and we'll see what happens with it but guys just leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of it alright guys my battery is dying on this so just leave like I said leave me a comment below and I will get back with you and let me know what you guys thought of the movie till next time Thank you.